recent years we've made a number of interesting discoveries. In regards to space and what's out there, it's only been in the last 100 years or so that we've started to understand what the cosmos has to offer. NASA along with other space agencies though sometimes spot things they can't wrap their heads around. Just recently someone noticed three large objects around our sun, which was captured by NASA's SOHO and Heliospheric Observatory, and is designed to study the sun inside and out, from its internal structure to the extensive outer atmosphere, to the solar wind that blows across the solar system. These recent photographs don't match typical photographs, and it's led amateur researchers to question what these are. One user noted that if these objects are genuine and aren't something like a camera anomaly, then they're truly massive. Online users who've seen the photographs have described it as looking like a large planet with a hole in the middle. One user said the following, Sometimes when you see these objects, they mirror on the other side of the image, which means that it's likely a processing error or something that's messing around with the quality of the image. In this case though, each of the objects are different sizes, and can clearly be seen once you adjust the contrast. In recent years though, NASA employees have said that they've detected similar looking objects close to the sun, and that there's actually an explanation for it, noting that although these things look out of the ordinary, or even look like giant ships, the truth is that they're quite a common occurrence which is one of the reasons why discoveries like this often make the rounds every couple of weeks or so. They've said that the truth behind these images is that they're not planets or ships, but rather that of a coronal mass ejection. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said the following, Coronal mass ejections are large expulsions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona. They can eject billions of tons of coronal material and carry an embedded magnetic field that's stronger than the background solar wind interplanetary magnetic field strength. CMEs travel outward from the sun at speeds ranging from slower than 250 km per second to as fast as nearly 3000 km per second. The fastest Earth-directed CMEs can reach our planet in as little as 15 to 18 hours. Slower CMEs can take several days to arrive. NASA said the following, The outer solar atmosphere, the corona, is structured by strong magnetic fields. When these fields are closed often above sunspot grooms, the confined solar atmosphere can suddenly and violently release bubbles of gas and magnetic fields called coronal mass ejections. A large CME can contain a billion tons of matter, that can be accelerated to several million miles per hour in a spectacular explosion. Solar material streams out through the interplanetary medium can impact any planet or spacecraft in its path. Although these events have been documented countless times by NASA and other space agencies, those who believe that there's something else point out that typical CMEs don't match the descriptions of these strange objects saying that coronal mass ejections are usually much more random in appearance and appear to be elongated, whereas these objects look to be circular in shape. The discussion of life outside our planet is always growing, especially since NASA and companies like SpaceX talk about exploring the solar system. Although there's some that believe we've already been contacted and are in talks with advanced life forms, Scientists have said this isn't the case, and that as of right now we have no proof that there's other advanced life forms. This hasn't stopped them talking about the topic, however, noting that it's very likely that there's other life forms out there in the universe, saying that out of the billions of planets scattered throughout the Milky Way galaxy, one of them is likely to hold some type of life form. Jill Carter, who used to be the director of the Center for SETI, which stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, said the following about advanced life forms. Often the aliens of science fiction say more about us than they do about themselves. While Sir Stephen Hawking warned that alien life might try to conquer or colonize Earth, I respectfully disagree. If aliens were able to visit Earth, 
that would mean they would have technological capabilities sophisticated enough not to need slaves, food or other planets. If aliens were to come here it would be simply to explore. Considering the age of the universe, we probably wouldn't be the first extraterrestrial encounter. We should look at movies like Men in Black 3, Prometheus and Battleship as great entertainment, and metaphors for our own fears, but we should not consider them harbingers of alien visitation." End quote. Some people shared their views on this and agreed with Jill, saying that Stephen Hawking didn't have the right attitude when talking about advanced life forms. One user said the following, Firstly, we don't know how advanced these life forms would be. For all we know, they could be above us right now and we might not even know it. We might not have the technology to detect them. There's so many variables that play into discussions like this. In terms of the universe, we're extremely young. And can you imagine what a civilization would look like if it was a hundred thousand or a million years more advanced than us? Think of what we've achieved in the last 100 years or so. When we think of the universe, we often apply human logic and human capabilities. And for all we know, there could be things out there that are way beyond our comprehension. The truth is, and always will be, that we'll never know how many advanced life forms are out there in space. We're never going to have the tech that will allow us to travel thousands of light years in a short amount of time. At least not any time soon. So the scientists and researchers saying these things really are guessing, and they're guessing based on the limited amount of information that we have. The only thing I will say is that if the day does come that aliens do make contact with us, we best hope that they're nothing like us. So what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.